fire, you who have entered the door to the north, the pungent stench of mildew emanates from the wet dungeon walls. I cast magic missile. I want to cast magic missile. Say again? I cast magic missile. I want to cast magic missile. I cast magic missile. Uh, what are you casting at? I, I attack the darkness. You know, we could continue stealing material from the dead alewives, or we could actually just like roll an RPG to, so we can survive the rest of this hell road. Midday at Woodcock Airstrip, and having let our adrenaline and our cars cool down to normal operating temperature, we were ready to go. So naturally, we immediately encountered the last of the trifecta of locomotion, a passing train. And once gone, it was time to get off the tarmac and back onto the public roads. Oh, that was fun. I'm sorry you didn't win. Hey, you know what? I'm not too worried about it because as I've been saying this whole time, Sabine, is an oasis of comfort and refinement in the sea of everything else that's going on around us. She can keep up on her own. She doesn't need to be the fastest. She just needs to be the best. And meanwhile, in the best car... Bj, I can't believe you won that race. <laughs> I can't believe I won it either. <laughs> it's like, this will be good. We'll settle this. We'll know Ian's the fastest. Yeah. <laughs> we just and I was like mentally preparing myself to just listen to Ian for the rest of the trip. Like, Hey, remember when I beat everybody in yeah. the drag race? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No. The Crown Vic won the, the day. The Crown Vic won the day. <laughs> the police interceptor. You can't outrun these because yeah. that's what they're meant to do. It's made for catching criminals. Absolutely. The lowest of the low. Yep. I feel really good about this. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the thing is, is that now that it's settled, yeah, it's fine. I'm not. I don't have a. I don't have a big head about it. Yeah. I don't. You know, we had a chance to celebrate. It's fine. I'm not going to think about it, not going to worry about it, I'm just glad we all had a good time. Good. I'm glad you had fun being here. Yeah, I'm going to be humble about this. Yeah. Over in the Sunfire, we had also been there for the race. So we raced. Yeah. Well, you raced. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I mean, I knew I wasn't going to win, and I had sort of come to peace with that. Uh-huh. But I had also come to peace with the fact that Ian was going to win, and I could probably stand to hear him gloat for the next five days. I don't know. I think Beach is a pretty humble guy. I don't think he's somebody to sort of, like, get all uppity about it. I don't know, man. Can I drink out of the cup? Did you win a drag race? Because he's always really slow. <laughs> like, yeah. like, getting in and pulling out and all that kind of jazz. He takes his damn time. And now we know it's legitimately because he can do whatever the hell he wants. He can go as fast as he wants. Yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense that the former cop car in a straight line for half a mile or half a kilometer is the fastest. Yeah. I Like, that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. What angers me is that I feel like had I just been a little less terrified. Right. And I wasn't even that terrified. I thought I was going to be way more scared than I was. I've never done anything like that before. Uh, I feel like if I had just gone a little bit harder, I could have actually just beat Ian. And we would have completely turned around yeah. what everybody thought was going to happen. And as for other things that hadn't happened... Here, moosey, 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 moosey. Are we in a moose zone? We've been in a moose zone for the last few days, to be fair. Are you saying any zone is a moose zone? Any zone is a moose zone, except for the island, in which case we, we aren't in the moose zone. Do we not have moose on the island? No, there are no moose on Vancouver Island. I mean, we could always go adventure into the forest, break off from the convoy. Just hard right right yeah, now, just into the forest. We're going to go find moose. Yeah, we're off to find the mooseies. Burb. In the Crown Vic, Adam continued to learn that there's nothing he can't say that doesn't trigger a corresponding beach story. It's like a big bog we're driving through, kind of. Yeah. 
like parts of it look like that. No, oh, actually, they don't really. But if I was to like exaggerate, it would be the swamp in uh, Never Ending Story. I refused to watch Never Ending Story when I was a kid because I am, and I am dead serious about this. Yeah. Because I wouldn't be able to get to see the end, and I'd have to go home. Yeah. That was the only reason. Because I was like, if it's the never-ending story, I have to sit and watch it until it's done. Yeah. That's literally what I thought <laughs> as, like, a five-year-old. That's adorable. Yeah. It's a real literalist. In the Sunfire, there was only one show we cared about. Hello, and welcome to Car Talk with Ben and James. I'm Ben. I'm James. And I'm getting really tired on this road trip. But boy, do we have a really great episode for you today. It's so good that Ben has let me pick the topic. I have, I have, and what did I let you pick today? Today we are talking about, of course, calcium deposits. Like, as in, like, in your body? Or in the ground. Right. Well, calcium deposits are basically what scientists refer to as dinosaur fossil sites. Yeah, and they're just everywhere. They're everywhere. Taking up your backyard, your neighbor's backyard, city hall's backyard. I pretty much guarantee you that in any backyard, you're about 90% given to get to find some dinosaur bones. Yeah, and it's because of this that scientists believe that the atmosphere back in the prehistoric dinosaur times uh, was actually 92% dinosaur. Which you would think would make it very hard to get around, what with all the dinosaurs and everything. And you'd be right, because that's why they're all dead. Yeah, they died because of overpopulation. Exactly. There was not enough food to go around. I mean, some got smart and they started eating one another. And those grew up to be cats. Where did we get dogs from then? Uh, that's for another episode. Yeah, it will be for another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in to Car Talk with Ben and James. I'm James. And I'm tired. Now that I was done bothering James, it was time to bother Alex. Hey, Alex. Hey, Ben. Do you remember motorized scooters? You mean like... Actual scooters that have a motor on them? Sure. I guess? <laughs> cool, man. I really wish you wouldn't keep doing that. <laughs> Finally got called on it, though. Yeah. I'm not above making the same jokes as everyone else in BC. Do you think Dee's Lake is anywhere near Dee's Nuts? I don't know. It's an awfully small target. Our route to the hot springs then led us off Highway 37 and onto a road labeled on the maps as the Niska Highway. But it certainly wasn't signposted like a highway. So we pulled over briefly to stretch our legs before continuing on. Beach! What? If you keep killing people and not telling me about it. I don't even know. I don't even notice I'm hitting small what do you boys. Call that? I'm not noticing. I'm hitting That's a grown adult. That's not even a small <coughs> boy. God, you've made more ghosts than that guy in the EPA and Ghostbusters. <laughs> he just he just let them go. I'm letting them go too. <laughs> Oh, this is Kiva. We were driving the whole time. Yeah, I don't know when they did it. I have no idea. It's starting to get a little creepy. It's gonna be one of those things like you're gonna go home and yeah. these stickers are gonna be on your car at home. Oh you know? no! Yeah. I still haven't. I haven't caught whoever is doing it. Yeah, no, like, me I haven't either. seen anybody doing it. No, so they're look, really good. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I guess we'll get back in the car and start driving before anyone else gets a chance to put any stickers on our car. Or draw on it or anything. Jeez. In 1999, the Niska people signed a treaty with the governments of Canada and British Columbia, agreeing that 2,000 square kilometers of the Nass River Valley were Niska lands. And as far as we knew, the Niska Highway was our only way in. We were about to make a big mistake. What is going on? Where are we? Dude, Pothole City. We find ourselves yet again. On a dirt road the uh, beach led us into. Yeah, I don't know. Who put this dude in charge today? This is ridiculous. Who puts beach in charge of anything ever? I do remember something about an onsen earlier in the day, so maybe that's where we're going. I don't know if it's worth this pothole ridden road. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> You took that part on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did. 
Oh, that's the end of my car. These potholes are not going to be good for it. I just, oh god, oh, those potholes. This road was... Jesus, there's so many potholes. Without question... Ow, ow, oh, ow, ow, ow. The worst driving we've ever experienced. Nope, not getting away from those. Oh. 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 This is fun. <laughs> sure, Ian was saying that now, but in about a half hour, he'd change his tune. Oh my god, this is torture. <laughs> because there were more potholes than road, so it was taking us a long time. I don't think I've ever seen a road this bad. No, you're right. I wonder why it's this bad. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Do we seriously have an hour left on this road? I hope not. Oh god. I don't know how many more of these potholes Gandalf's got in him. <laughs> well, f we're gonna take some of these. Brace for impact, Captain. Like right now. Oh God! Wow! Got it! Got it! Wow! Got it! Wow! Got it! That was impressive. Okay, so I've been questioning, like, if swerving to get out of the way of these holes was actually doing anything. Yes. My answer is yes, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Having now actually just gone through a couple of those deep boys? Yeah. Oh yeah, you yeah, know, no, yeah. You're going deep boys. Oh no. It's funny how fatigue eventually just sets in and you're like, I do whatever you want to my car, I don't give a shit. Ooh, that was a good one. Mm -hmm. Good luck with that one, boys. We're trying to deep rock. Oh. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Damn it, it's hard to nap like this. <laughs> you know, I, I often see like in those HMVs or uh, Hot Topic for You Americans, like ragged ass road signs. Yeah. This, this is the ragged ass road. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, whoa. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Gandalf was not built for this. Really, neither was, oh god, Ian's car. Yeah. I can't imagine they're feeling a whole lot better than we are at this point. We're heading towards wherever this Hansen is. Yeah. Because it appears to be a lot further than I kind of assumed it was. I thought I saw a sign that said like 56 kilometers. That's worrisome. A little bit. There's potholes everywhere. I've never seen a road this bad before. Anybody else still have a spine? I don't know, the suspension in our car is real good. I'm busy protecting my ring. He thinks he's so great. Yeah. With his cop suspension and his fastest car in a straight line for half a kilometer. <laughs> Whatever, Beach. Like, I'm personally feeling fine. I'm sure my back's gonna be sore later, but I'm like, whatever, but... Poor Gandalf, man. This is not the life that Gam Gandalf was promised. Yeah, it's also more so that I feel like we're just like, making no progress. <laughs> yeah. We're moving so slow. We're like just about 30 on a highway. Adam felt we hadn't had enough gloating yet. We have the fastest car and the most comfortable. <laughs> After we complete this drive, the next owner of this car is going to just refer to it as the mistake. Remind me to expense my chiropractor trip after this. Has anybody else noticed these numerals by the side of the road? Are those like the layers of hell we're descending through? It's either that or kilometer markers, but yeah, let's go with the hell thing. I didn't realize you were allergic to fun, James. Our affinity for fun went out the window when our spines exited our rectums. You should try riding in this car, Ben. It's awesome. Hey, Beach, I assume we need to come out of here going the same way, want to trade cars coming back? I'm actually kind of disappointed that you're so quick to give up on your car already, James. It's been five days. 
Yeah, but I mean, like, we made a good decision. Why should we be punished? I just want you guys to experience what it's like on this road in this car. To switch cars, you have to beat Beej in single combat. Can I name a champion? James, I have nothing but sympathy for you. I have low profile tires on a very low car. This is not fun. The only thing that's keeping me through the day right now is the fact that my steering is nimble AF. Come to think of it, hadn't Beej had an issue with his steering? How is your steering linkage doing? It's actually doing about as well as it did earlier too. Um, are you noticing like from back where you are, you watch, is my wheel kind of flopping about? Cause I'm not feeling anything like that. Oh, I'm, I'm not so worried about that. I was just worried that like one of your front wheels is going to pop off in one of these potholes. I have a feeling the, the hub is secure. I think the tie rod might, might break before that. I don't know, from a passenger point of view, it's been hella comfy. Just rub it in, Savadan, rub it in. How about we make a part-time alliance to, um, I mean, just low-key break Adam's shins. <laughs> Normally you don't say your plan over a radio where I can hear it. It's called a threat. You know, it seems like the rest of the guys need to talk big game about how their cars are to other people. I'm glad that we understand that We've got something special here in Sabine, and we don't need to broadcast that. Mm. I can't believe this is the same car we had on day one. Where yeah. it just kind of like, day one was like, hey, the car won't start, we're, yeah. we're f***ed. And then it's like, later on we're like, the car won't slow down, we're more <laughs> f***ed. <laughs> yeah. And I just had this sense that I'm like, this is going to be a nightmare yeah. for 10 days if we're not, we don't figure this stuff out. That's what I thought. Yeah. I thought this was going to be like a nightmare trip, but this car has been sweet. Yeah. I was doing my best to keep my eyes on the prize. So if the hot spring is outdoors, which I am hoping for, seems likely, then this rain is going to be glorious. Hmm. I'm not expecting like these hot springs to just be like, run by like a single old lady. Yeah. You know, just by herself. <laughs> it seems really out of the way. It's like, yeah, it does. how do people find this? The roads being this way, I'm yeah. like, this isn't this isn't a resort area. This isn't like, this isn't like Fairmont Hot Springs. No. Man, I have no idea how anyone found this place. Like, it's so out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I hope this isn't the solitary route up to this hot spring. Can't you there's a highway access? Yeah. <laughs> We get up there, it's like, you guys came the back way. There's just an overpass. Look at this four-lane highway that's been going over here the whole time. Since I hadn't gotten a firm answer earlier, I thought I'd try again. I got a shiny $20 bill to Beej and Adam if you let me drive your car out of here tomorrow. I, I'm worried you won't give it back. I mean, we love our car on the main road. Just these uh, potholes, We it feels like we actually have no suspension. I have no idea how this can be called a highway. Yeah. <laughs> really, uh, I got nothing there for you. Clearly, we need to write a letter to our premier. How in the middle of nowhere do you think we are right now? Um, pretty far, my dude. Should I test something? What's that? My horn. Maybe? Okay. It works. Love it. As we pass road signs with no distances and the road surface showed no improvement, I amuse myself by making things miserable for Ben. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> You're hitting everyone! <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> James is hitting them on purpose now. James, you bully. He nailed everyone in that last batch. That's pretty skills. Ben, you can come ride with me and Beach. I mean, at this point, I'm sure I could probably just like jog up to your car and hop in. <laughs> it's probably faster just to walk to the hot springs. That boy ain't right. That's not something you see every day. What the f why is Ben running? I think he wants to get there before <laughs> us. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so A, it is apparently faster just to jog. <laughs> and B, I've lost my co-pilot. Now I'm all alone. He's beating the Crown Vic. Oh, he's giving it a little gas. <laughs> he's faster than us. What the sh Oh my god. 
So now I'm by myself. And at the back. And Gandalf is still hurting. Hey, buddy. Hey. You wanna you wanna ride in a more comfortable car? Uh, yeah, it seems like it'd be pretty good. All right. Hop in. Hop in. What? Why? Now he's just getting in the car. How is that any fair? Get ready for luxury, buddy. Now I'm alone, and my co-pilot is just in a different car entirely. Oh, how's that? Much better. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that you actually try and avoid the holes. No, I didn't that time. I aimed for them all. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this oh, is man. This, this is me avoiding the holes actually. <laughs> yeah. Holy moly. I told you it was nice. It's like night and day. How are you Here's... doing back there, Beach? Oh, oh we're all oh, super oh, comfortable. Oh, I see. It's so nice. Sorry, did I say Beach? I meant James. I'm lonely and I'm scared and I think there's wolves after me. How's it up living your life up in the luxury there, Ben, you Judas? James, are you trying to say you need a friend? Don't worry, James. I'm coming, buddy. <laughs> well, f*** us, I guess. Hi. You ready for this? <laughs> Your car smells weird. Your car smells weird too. But all cars actually smell pretty weird. Comfort package or full experience? <laughs> full experience. Okay, cool. That's not that bad. Give it time. Ah, this is nice. This is good, isn't it? We make the best of a bad situation. Pretty much have to. <laughs> Did you see the sign when we came in? No. It said about 56 kilometers to where we needed to go. We passed the sign that said like 35. Like, yeah. Like about 10 minutes ago, it felt like. So uh, I think we still got a little bit to go. Oh. <laughs> okay, I want to sample this stupid Crown Vic. Okay. Come on, Alex. Hi. Dude, Thanks. welcome to the good life. What the f? Yeah, right? <laughs> Here, let me hit every hole. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Full experience still, sir? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I see why you left, Ben. <laughs> wow, this car sucks. No, this car is pretty legit on the road. It's so cramped in here. Well, you're also huge. Oh, here we go. More full experience. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <laughs> help, ow, help. Joke's on them, James. With that many people in a Crown Vic, the suspension is gonna be so low to the ground, it's gonna be worth nothing. Nah, man, so far this has been lovely. I don't wanna go back. That being said, I guess I felt a little bad that Ian was experiencing this hell all alone. I guess I just tried the sob, shouldn't I? <laughs> this is stupid. Did you wipe your feet? <laughs> Sabine, hey. the oasis of calm and civilization amongst the riffraff. This is, uh, right away, this is actually quite spacey. Yeah, right? I kind of like this. Yeah. I will say, the bumps in the Crown Vic uh -huh. are very not noticeable. Interesting. <laughs> but, um, this still, I think, beats the Sunfire, which is both a bumpy ride and very tiny and not spacious. Did you notice, by the way, Ben, that mm -hmm. despite this being a dusty-ass road that's bumpy as hell, yeah. we still have the, uh, the top down? Yeah, and you're not really getting, we're not getting any dust at all. Exactly, the dust finger protocol is in effect. Yeah, I don't think uh, when James chose the vehicle, he knew what we were getting ourselves into. <laughs> no, I don't think any of us did. <laughs> this also feels very weird to have you in this car. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like it? No, I'm just saying, after four and a half days, yeah. having somebody that isn't been in this car... Yeah, it feels weird not looking over and seeing Beach. Beach. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder what Beach is doing right now. Real good, actually. He's a fine gentleman. It's hot in here, too. What the f*** is this? Like the train <laughs> It's my door. <laughs>
James, I got a level with you, buddy. Got a level with me about what? <laughs> we have the worst car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ben, what happened to your door? <laughs> Dude, that car has been through hell. At least you guys have a glove compartment. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of stuff in there. The Crown Vic has a fake f***ing glove compartment. It sure does. Another part of the full experience, the air conditioning. <laughs> That's dust! I'm giving you the full experience. <laughs> it went right in my mouth. James turned on the air conditioner and it just blew dirt in my mouth. <laughs> it was a mistake asking for the full experience. <laughs> this car has character, and the other two cars are complete easy mode. Now you guys can talk about all the anime you want, and James, you finally have a chance to uh, unbrainwash Adam. This is a, a new occurrence for me in a car. The headrest is actually like poised nicely on my neck. In, in the back of my head. That's European design. Ah. This car smells weird and I'm scared. This car smells a little weird and I'm feeling fine. I'm actually happily having a good time here in the Sav. But Ben, I have Hootie now. <laughs> I, I mean, Ho Hootie needs a break from me. We've been together through a lot and I needed to go visit Uncle Ian. We're getting close. <laughs> Are we? God, I hope so. <laughs> the speed limit is 60. God, if you went 60 on this, we would die. You would, your car would like flip easy. I'm super worried that this is going to kill one of our cars. I'm really happy with, you know, lucking into this thing. I mean, like winning the race? Not even winning the race or whatever. I'm just really happy with lucking into the, the police interceptor as my vehicle. It's very good. Yeah, I was like, I saw it come around. I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess we'll see how this works out. And it's like, it's been great. I just thought it was going to be a catastrophe the whole way through. Yeah, I just thought we're going to have to fix something every single goddamn day. And yeah. it's just like, we're five days in. See, nice and easy. <laughs> nice <laughs> and easy. Just, all over the just road. thread. Ooh, ooh, what was that? How are you doing, Adam? My mouth is full of dirt and I feel sick. <laughs> the full Gandalf experience. <laughs> That's the Gandalf guarantee. Beach, I miss you and I'm sorry I ever left you. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. Even when me and Beej are in the back, it's not like this. Is your car properly sealed? Like, is there just like, I, we've had some leakage when it's raining, <laughs> but not much. It was pretty bad the other day when we had that dumb flag in the window. Yeah. Cause it wouldn't let the window fully seal. So there's just a leak, yeah, in. just a steady leak on that side. Character, damn it! Yeah. This car has character. I walked a mile in Ben's <laughs> shoes, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what I've had to put up with for the past five days. What? F off! <laughs> wow, James is really upset. I've experienced the good life, and I refuse to go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got bad news for you. It's like when you randomly get put up to first class on the airplane. I, I, I'll give the sob back to Alex, and I'll just hang out in the back of the crowd bit. I guess I shouldn't say why is your. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep getting like random bursts of dirt in my mouth. Oh. Jesus. Your car has no suspension. It has suspension. It's fine. I think this car was made before suspension was invented. <laughs> James, I just want you to know that I still love you, buddy. It's sometimes hard to believe you. <laughs> This isn't about you and me, this is about the choice you made in cars. Six days ago, you were very excited about this car, young man. Six days ago, we were on tarmac. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like James is a single dad, like, driving his shitty El Camino, and <laughs> Ben went and stayed the weekend with his best friend, and his best friend's dad has, like, a Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying with Uncle Ian forever. <laughs> Uncle Ian, who drives really fast and smells like cheese. He's got Lego in the car. That's my Lego! <laughs> <laughs> There's enough Lego to share. Tell you what, if we ever make it out of this hell road, uh, I'll divvy it up between the cars. I'm never gonna complain about the state of city roads ever again. I think I just saw a cockroach in this car. <laughs> That's Terrence, leave him alone. <laughs> I feel like I've aged five years being in this car. <laughs> One of these days I'm gonna run into the back of Ian and it's gonna be really funny. <laughs> By accident or on purpose? Eh, maybe a little of each. 
I like how you're going 10 and 2. Yeah, man. Safety first. Normally, I don't, but yeah. here I am. Dude, I was talking with Beach because I was like, hey, Beach, I really like how I respect how you're a 10 and 2 driver. And I was like, when I drive, it's like one finger on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on the highway, I'm kind of like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. But here, I'm definitely, it's either this or this. Beach is always 10 and 2, oh, man. Yeah. yeah like Except never. for when he's talking like this, <laughs> which I see at the back of the window all the time. I'm like, dude, stop talking with your hands and drive your car. I don't even notice it. <laughs> this is a scary thing. James had such honest intentions with that car. I know. He had such a good time driving and we've been on the shittiest road. I really hope he gets the last lap. I hope so too. Oh yeah, did you hear the, uh, the addition we made last night? No. What? That's such a good horn. <laughs> Hey, can we stop? My butt hurts. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll go back. Oh, thank God. Oh. You're stopping. Oh, our oh. heroes. No, oh, James, just watch. To give you the the final goodbye that you deserve. <laughs> no, he's speeding up. Help! <laughs> right, well, it's been fun, Ben. But yeah. sorry, I gotta let you go. <laughs> all right. Take care. Uh. <sighs> Thanks. I hated it. <laughs> The door did Yeah, it works. It's just jammed. There you go. <laughs> this was awful. In fact, let me tell you how I really feel. If these roads are the responsibility of the province of BC, Alex, they need to be ashamed of themselves. If these roads are the are the responsibility of the people who own these lands, then I understand why they can't be maintained, because it's not like we give a lot of money to uh, to First Nations people, but BC needs to take care of this. This is horse Look at what it's done to my friend. This is me healing. I feel so much better now. James turned on the air conditioning and a blast of dirt just went right from my mouth. I mean, that's not my fault. So I've, I've given that... it up to everyone else. Uh, did, did, did everyone else hear my new addition to the car last night? No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> That's wow. such a good horn. My butt hurts. We didn't stop for long because we just wanted this to be over. My baby boy returned. <laughs> what news do you bring from the kingdoms of Saab and uh, Crown Vic? Well, number one word that I would use for the whole scenario was uh, stable. <laughs> <laughs> It was incredibly weird after basically five days to have somebody else in this vehicle with me. Oh yeah? Yeah, like looking over and having to be Adam, while lovely, uh, was odd. Man, I love turning on our air conditioning and not getting dirt. <laughs> but uh, I missed, I missed our child, our sweet baby Gandalf. Here's the secret, of all three vehicles upon reveal, I felt like Chances were this was the the one least likely to make the journey. Now, given Beej already had a breakdown, his vehicle is in much better condition than mine. So we have the plucky little, you know, underdog. Yeah. If we make it, we feel great, you feel great, everybody feels great. That's true. It's a very it's a very good story. Yeah, but if it fails, then everybody will be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And finally. After taking nearly two hours to travel 60 kilometers, we could see a sliver of hope in the distance. Oh! Uh, oh! What is... Oh my god! 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 An actual road! A real honest to goodness oh road! Tarmac! <laughs> we We're made it! Safe. We made it! It's a real road! It's an actual real road! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Everything feels so smooth! Oh. It was amazing how quickly the stress of that hell road drained out of our bodies. James, I'm sorry for all the mean things I said to your car. Yeah, right now, it's awesome. I was just in a really bad spot in my life. <laughs> Having to ride in your car. Is anybody else just like 
incredibly exhausted now. I'm so glad that's over. Like, oh my god. This is what Road Quest is all about. Long periods of extreme misery punctuated <laughs> by, like, Brief. ecstatic, apoplectic joy. Yep. <sighs> the floor of the Nass Valley is covered in volcanic rock, evidence of a 250-year-old eruption so powerful it redirected the Nass River and forever changed this landscape. After parking our cars on the far side of the lava fields and a quick jaunt through the woods, we were finally prepared to experience the other formerly hot liquids that were now safe for our weary skin, the hot springs. There's rocks. There's rocks everywhere. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Uh, oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. Okay, this is good. Oh, oh my no. God. Shit. Okay, I can this is how it was meant to be, eh, buddy? I think this is exactly how it was meant to be. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That rose. Go, 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 go. I one for you. Yosh. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. The road was worth it. This, this is nice. This, this is, is really, really nice. I like this. Yeah, this I mean, really I don't know. I can't. This might rejuvenate me, but not my car. Oh yeah, yes. my car's fine. I don't care about my car. Hey, why uh, don't you talk that way about Gandalf? You're the one who got out of Gandalf. Yeah, you left us. That's fair. Overall, how do we feel about today? Uh, okay. Interesting. Yes. yes, I enjoyed it. Different. it. Yeah, <laughs> racing, going over lots of bumps, and now warmth. Yeah. First time racing a car. First I mean, time in an ocean in this, my own country. This is heaven. <laughs> Put some pants on. Yeah. He's not gonna. Take your pants off. Here, I'll lend you a set. Ooh. Oh, oh no! no! Oh no! As it should be. Mm. You know what's gonna suck? What? Getting out of this. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Do you have to? We don't have to get out. No. Mm. This could be our final destination. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Who's going to stop us? Yeah. Ram? Yeah. yeah. You did hear oh. about the bears. He's uh. going to send a bear with a message. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know where we're going tomorrow yet? No. no. Who cares? No. <laughs> Just rest in the now. <laughs> oh, there's rocks on the ground. <laughs> this was a mistake. Mm, yeah, restful. Uh. I'm like the kid at the kitty pool. The world's biggest baby. Soaking away the pain of that road in the waters of the Niska Valley was a truly amazing experience. And we were barely halfway to our goal. The flashbacks. It's okay, it's only short. Oh, this looks nice. This looks very, very nice. Cute. I am now more suspicious of that wheel. I think we might have to take a more serious look at it. Um, try turning the tire, uh, try turning the wheel. It, when we're moving at low speeds, there feels like there's some slop, more slop than I expected, uh, especially when we had to do a UE to come back in here who missed the driveway. So I'm gonna keep that in mind, and when we have an opportunity, we'll. Maybe we do have a, have to have a look at it because I'm sure I'm sure it's probably still okay to drive, but it's getting a little loose. Did I miss something? Beach? No, no, it's fine. <laughs>